Hi everyone. Welcome to RK PhD. My name is Megha. Here I share information on PhD admission process, planning PhD years and beyond in a clear and concise format. Today's video is the first in the series of starting a PhD and answers a very interesting question. What are the different types of PhD programs in India? Before I begin, first let's have a quick background. PhD programs in India have diversified a lot since last few years, especially when we look at them in the areas of architecture or planning. IITs already had their PhD program since 1960s, while SPA Delhi started it in 1991. In comparison, private and reputed architectural institute like SEPT started their PhD program in 2014. This chart clearly indicates that research is gaining boost not only from the government but architecture and planning fraternity as well in fact a recent report even mentioned that there is an attempt from the government to change the image of premier institutes from an undergraduate degree colleges to research driven establishments iit since 2014 alone have seen a 40 to 80% increase in their phd enrollments besides having a doctorate degree is slowly but compulsorily becoming the minimum requirement for a career in academics as a cumulative effect of all these events types of doctoral programs have expanded to offer opportunities to more and more people at different stages of their life having different priorities broadly speaking majority of you might be aware that there are two types of phd programs full time and part time here i will be first talking about the full time programs which has six types type 1 regular phd with institute scholarship admission notice for these usually releases annually or semester wise that is twice in a year all general rules apply according to institute's phd ordinance candidates with or without post graduate degree can apply full time status can be converted into part time according to institute rules and regulations generally scholarship is provided for 4 years plus 1 year of extension For information on how and what things to remember before applying do check out my previous video of which link is provided below. Type 2 externally funded or sponsored PhD. Candidates with funding from various fellowships come under this category. I'm listing here few examples of fellowships and there can be more than this. Next, candidates with a project fund or any candidate from industry or in the organization or educational institute that is providing a paid leave to do a phd also comes under this category admission notice time for all these categories varies and it is rarely allowed to be converted into part time except in few exceptional cases scholarship period time depends upon the funding body type 3 research associate or junior research fellow positions This is a special category in which a notice for these position specially mentions the option of conversion into a PhD program. So not all RA or GRF positions offer PhD conversions, but only the ones where it is explicitly mentioned. Notice time varies. Usually the selection is on the basis of an interview if you are shortlisted based on your profile. Only in few cases written test is required. Scholarship is from the project As such there are no teaching assistantship or administration duties but candidate is expected to work on the project and his or her phd simultaneously generally project provides fund for any data collection or software purchase too moving forward type 4 phd for working professionals well this one is a new addition and presently only a few colleges are providing this opportunity it is slightly different from sponsored phd which i will explain here firstly admission under this one happens throughout the year that is on rolling advertisement basis secondly only candidates working in reputed organization or laboratories are eligible which may include public psus or private organizations generally institutes have very specific guidelines on this point so you need to read the respective brochures carefully Thirdly, it is open for both with or without postgraduate degree holders. 
a relevant professional experience is required which also varies for instance in iit roorkee it is 12 years for pg degree holders and 14 years for ug degree holders whereas in iit kharagpur 2 years of post qualification is required residency requirements also varies like there is no such requirement at roorkee but in kharagpur it is necessary to spend at least one week per semester for details i have shared links in the description box below type 5 phd under quality improvement program or qip this was launched in 1970s by all india council of technical education or aicte for upgrading expertise and capabilities of faculty members of degree level professional institutes the call for phd under this scheme also varies overall there are nine major and 79 minor qip centers across the country but for architecture and planning there are only five at iit roorkee iit kharagpur mnit jaipur anna university chennai and mits gwalior a minimum experience of 3 years in teaching is required residency requirement requirement is of 3 years for more details check out the link below type 6 dual degree program this category is also a new addition and only few institutes are providing this for encouraging research in india under this category an option is provided to post graduate students for conversion into phd program after successful completion of their first year usually it is for students having high cgpa which is above 8.5 but depends upon the institute all general rules and regulations apply however conversion into part time is rarely allowed one of the benefit of this program is if the candidate wants to leave the program after candidacy he or she can do so with a post graduate degree if the work done so far is at satisfactory level according to the research committee moving forward now we come to part time phds as mentioned previously all full time phds can be converted into part time phd after a required time period which depends on the institute phd ordinance all sponsored phd candidates can begin part time from day 1 lastly in service internal candidates is a category under which regular employee can register under phd programs within their parent institute themselves and will be treated as part time candidates for example faculty is doing phd under their senior colleagues so these are major uh, phd types in the end i would like to say and stress on this point that this video provides a broad overview and different institutes have different terminologies so make sure you read the brochures carefully and if there is any doubt do not hesitate in contacting the phd admission office before you fill the form also rules and regulations on phd program is a dynamic subject so i will be definitely be coming up with a new and updated video in the future too Meanwhile I will be happy to receive any comments or questions below till then see you next time bye bye